Hey guys, um, first thing I'd like to say is I have got my new camera but I obviously don't know how to use it properly because I've managed to record about six minutes of video and then end up with uh, totally nothing. So I was doing a review of the 8 wired Superconductor double IPA. So um, yeah, like I say, I did a complete review and nothing. So anyway, this is, this is take number two. Hopefully I will get the hang of this video camera. Um, I see the red dot is on now, so hopefully that means it's recording. Um, so yeah, this is a double IPA, 8.8% ABV, 500 mils. I did pour a full glass, as you can see I've drunk some of it already. Um, but this will be the condensed version of the review, which you uh, no doubt will completely enjoy. So yeah, it's, um, it did have a finger of head, but that's that's dissipated, obviously. Um, it's got some really good glass lacing on there. And it's a beautiful um, sort of coppery brown colour. Now the first thing that hits me, um, this this is a re this is a real hot bomb. Um, picking up tons of hop aroma. As soon as I get my nose to the edge of the glass, it's, it's hitting me in the face. Wow, it's fantastic. I mean, I, to be honest, I could just sit here sniffing the hop aroma all day and I would be perfectly happy. It's, um, it's a real tropical fruit punch sort of combo of hops. I have absolutely no idea what hops they've used in this beer, but it's, um, it smells fantastic. Let's, uh, let's give it a taste test. Okay, I'm getting that, um, that real trop tropical fruit hop bomb um, sort of hit right up front. And also, all those, also the bitterness. But the, having said that, the bitterness sort of is um, dissipating very quickly. Yeah, that's that's very nice. Wow, it's it's, it's a real pungent hop. Um, aroma that's coming off there. It's, um, you know when you open those um, those vacuum sealed hop bags and you stick your nose in, you get that real sort of hit of hop aroma. It's, it's almost like that. I don't know how they've done it because I know when I hop my beers or dry hop, the hop aroma sort of um, tapers off very very quickly within a few weeks afterwards but somehow they've managed to retain that in the beer and um, that's that's really impressive wow that's that's really good yeah give give the uh, glass a bit of a swirl it just kicks up more of that hop aroma well, like I say, I could just I could just bask in the um, hops all day. Um, what else do they say on the beer here? It says if you don't like hops, don't buy this beer. The intense bitterness and pungent fruity hoppiness may confuse your taste buds to an extent where there would not be enough voltage left in the world to electroshock them back into coherence. Cheers, Soren Erickson Brewer, and I. I I think he sort of hit the nail on the head. There's a lot of hop um, hoppiness going on there, but it's really hard to sort of put your finger on exactly. Um, well, I, I'm finding it hard to put my finger on what hops they are. All, all I know, you know, I'm no, I'm no expert when it comes to reviewing beers. All I can say is I'm really enjoying this beer. Um, 
how would it rank to other beers that I've had? It, you know, it's it's right up there. Um, I'd give that a a good solid nine nine out of ten. Um, it's definitely a beer I would try again. And if if you, if, if you're into the eight wide beers, um, I'd definitely recommend giving this a try. I don't know what these guys are doing, but they, they're definitely doing the right thing. I mean, what a, a perfect way to spend a Saturday afternoon. You know, it's just gone 12 o'clock, sitting outside. It's not fantastically sunny, but it's a clear day. Got a fantastic beer in hand. And um, yeah, what more can I say? Um, yeah, Scotty, uh, I think I mentioned on one of your recent videos, you mentioned some eight wide beers, and I said to you that I had some at uh, a recent beer festival. I couldn't remember what what um, what I had there, and that, you know, that's totally honest. Um, but I completely forgot about this. Um, don't know how I forgot about it, but um, I bought several beers on my recent Newmarket beer run. Um, and um, yeah, the Superconductor Double IPA is um, fantastic, Scotty. So if you manage to track it down, I definitely recommend it. Also, guys, before I go, I caught up with uh, Chubby from Sat uh, Shadow Beast Brewery um, this morning, and I'll be putting up a little bit of a clip of our uh, beer uh, swap. Um, in the next uh, video so keep keep an eye out for that and um, yeah I hope you guys are having as uh, good a weekend as I am this um, I'm having a fantastic time drinking this beer and um, yeah have, uh, have a great time I guess cheers guys see you later